about to start this tour here for the Sutliff factory. You got it? exciting things in there but I will say once we get past the air compressors you'll see on the left there's a lot of barrel aged stuff it's bourbon barrels different types of barrels that we have tobacco in um, that's kind of interesting but it's sort of loud there so we're not going to stop there we'll just keep on working our way into the process of the department and in the process and we're just going to follow basically all the way through like the process the raw leaf comes in we condition it we case it we cut it we move it to blending we flavor it and then the pack and come back so that's kind of the full process that we'll go. So, but like I said, any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Feel free. Right is our humidors. On this side, it's mainly tobacco that's stored. On this side, it's the cigar storage. Uh, we keep a lot of the tobacco in here just for tobacco beetles to have a little bit of control of those pests because if you keep them cold, they tend not to want to visit each other. Oriental Caterini. Look at this. Perique, there's your Perique barrels. Catarina, the Oriental right there, uh -huh. that's 
can't remember exactly your order, but you're probably talking plus five years. At okay, least. that one? That one in the very back. Oh, that that, it even becomes drier? And actually, Mark has a, a sample of that out there in the blending seminar. Okay. It's the Katarina that he put through the Parique process. Mm. And it's amazing what came out. So, I mean, oh. it, I, I don't know how it smokes. It could smoke terrible, but I don't know. But it's just the smell and the one that came out of the Amazon. <laughs> it smokes to me. Yes, it really? is. Really? Oh, okay. Did you do the blending already? Uh, what I was telling y'all out there with the hogs heads and the wooden barrels, so we'll load about a thousand pounds of uh, burley tobacco. You see those hand strips, and it's all burley for our black cavendish that we're making here. It's not a snow Virginia, it's just this is our black cavendish here, so much predominant most of our blends. And what we do is we'll load a thousand pounds of tobacco in each hogs head, and there's four, four of those goes in here. And they basically, these, these pros. To the, to the center of the, the hogs head. And this chamber is flooded with steam. And then this, that, this basically it pulls a vacuum through these holes. And then with these are hooked. These are hooked into these pipes up here that you'll you kind of see. And there's a, you know, these will be in the thing and there'll be a, a, a adapter that attaches these together. And then it's just, so this chamber gets flooded with steam. And then the, the vacuum pulls it through the barrels, through the tobacco. For how long? It. And we do that for 48 hours. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So you'll you'll cook it for 24 hours and then you'll turn the tobacco. So you basically flip the tobacco over because the bottom might not be as to get it more even. Okay. Cook it. Yeah. Even just to be sure of color. That's how they condition the tobacco. So they would take the probe and they'd insert it into the because the whole seeds would come with the tobacco in them, and that's how they would actually condition it. This is the newer way now. Uh, Back down as opposed to this where you flood it with steam, this you pull all the air out of it. Okay. So it completely evacuates the air and you put it into a vacuum. Mm -hmm. And then you dump the steam into a swear. There's strictly steam for the there's nothing but the tobacco that pulls the steam in because there's no air. Oh, okay. So that's really a vacuum chamber in it. and in a weird way you can actually freeze water in it. You know, because you put it into if you get it down to a certain we've never done it, but if you set the sense it, you can freeze water. water. You know, because you put it into a vacuum, you know, yeah. and you're yeah. operating the vacuum. If you set it at a certain set, we've never actually done it, but you change settings and do different things, you can't do it. So in these trays, and it's not really deep, you know, it's pretty shallow, and they just kind of push it in with the four okay. on the trays. So you'll have those, so they'll take it out of the boxes, like you uh -huh. see over there, and then it's going to sit on here. And then we might have bales and get bales, and then you just put them in there. And put so once you condition all your bag, and then like I said, if you move it into here, and that allows it to pull apart, because some of the barrels are pretty tight, so this allows the moisture to get in. You know, you get it apart. When you first go in, you're going to see the dryer what's coming out, so you're kind of seeing the finished product. And as we work our way around, you'll see where we're cutting it. So we're about to see the Latakia process.
good mix between different, maybe you can slow them up, depending upon if you need a little bit of this or more of this. And then as I was saying, once it comes out of here, this is another conditioning chamber. Right before it goes through the spray bubble, like I said, as you go through, this is more when we condition it out there so we can separate it to go into these beaters to pull apart. And then as it cools, you're going to have to go back through another steaming to just be able to bring the leak back for him to accept the case. Yeah, I will say everything that you see that is more stationary was where the factory was kind of built upon. It was mixture 79. If you look in the back, as we go back, like you can go either this way to the spray case, or you can go that way to be tipped. So on the back side, you'll see this machine that's back there that's basically a trough, where the tobacco is dragged through the case, as opposed to sprayed on the case, sprayed on the tobacco. It's a totally different process. That's where you'll get, if you go to the blender seminar, the tube, the tube burling that's out there, is made through that process. And now this entire wall is a, is a drum propelled drum. Here's the dryer, this whole system right here. So once it goes through the wall, it comes up onto a bit belt, and it goes onto a belt, and I'll show you all. I'll show you at the end how it's just basically an air flow between up and down, and that's how it happens. But uh, from this particular office, this is where you would apply the spray case. And since this is what you use for this side, if you're not going to go dip, then you would come to this side with this spray case. Okay. And a majority of our process is done through the spray case. Okay. This is where you would apply like I said, that was a much more where the factory was kind of landed upon the mix of 79, the toast and burly, and just the, like I said, everything as we go around that you see stationary, that's what that was made. Yeah. Oh my God. 
Ya, lah, lah, ya. Great guys. I wish you guys could smell it. Alright, so what square we're in right now, this 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 is drop this square, the next square. All of our purple cakes are made, all the purple flake is made, and we actually have over there on the table feel free of two of the crinkle plate blocks. What's gonna be coming to the box slice. Feel free to take pictures and do whatever you want. Get a little but they're right over here on the side. <laughs> Take a whole block of this. <laughs> and like I was saying, this is made out of the tobacco that we were showing, like back here, with the, the 2000, uh, the red Virginia that was back here, the 2003 green. Wow, that's so good. You can see the leaves almost. I know. Is it moist? Uh, no, you touch it. Yeah. It's sticky. Oh, oh wow. Of course, a lot of the juices come out of it when you get a little bit of from here, what do you do? You just break it up and put it in? Yeah, basically, we're going to cut it in threes. So we'll make three slices. Uh -huh. And then we cut flakes off it. And then we cut it. Okay, is that done by a machine? Or you it's done. done. By the machine. By manual over here, oh, actually. Yes. Yeah. Now, our parent company in Denmark has all machine driven, all automatic, everything's very oh. systematic on how they've been doing flakes for, you know, for years. I mean, these are things that we've more gotten into over the past, you know, probably six plus years that we've gotten more into this. Ours is much more manual, you know, the process, but still works well. Yeah, can we see the cutter? Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll walk around it. We'll creep around. I just don't want to. They were creeping up on their side over there, so. You can fit about, you probably get about three in here, so you almost fit 27 pounds of tobacco in this block, which is sort of hard to get your head around because when you stack it in there and you look at 27 pounds of tobacco, it's a lot more than what it seems to fit, especially, and with the leaf tobacco, we can usually get about two blocks in there, you know, because it's very fluffy, you know, extremely trying to load, you know, because most of these are five pound blocks as opposed to nine pound blocks, you know, like 10 pounds, just because the leaf is a lot. You're trying to, you got to press it down, get it into a form, come back, load more, press it down, and then load it down before the final press. How do you make the whole crop before it gets to the job? To the uh, these particular ones, because after you press it in these, we're going to leave it in these usually at least a week. Then we'll leave it in these initial presses, okay. and then we'll go hold them for approximately 30 days. You know, oh, wow. it, it depended upon each one, the blends, okay. maybe at least a minimum of 30, so I'm going to load it down. Oh. And then once you then you would slice it. <laughs> and, uh, the tobacco you see right here, this is what I told you about the black cabinet, where we blacken the tobacco. This one smells tough. <laughs> this one smells tough. How about, how about the black cabinet? 
Wow, this one smells great. <laughs> Smell it. This is really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that smells great. That smells awesome. That one is not so good. That one is not so good. It's the green one. It's got a good smell. Look at my ground. Leaf that's used for the crinkle plate. This is the red that you'll saw back there. It comes out. You know, between these, you know. You're losing some. <laughs> well, he didn't look right. I'm taking it. This is a token. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you lost it. He's mine. <laughs> yeah, like I said, as we get over here, there's a box of the 2003 Greek book. So you can kind of feel the difference because that's going to be a much milder. It's extremely different than what you smell here. It's still a good, but it's definitely going to be able to tell the difference in what it's done. It smells like strawberry, not that. The cherry? That's cherry right there. Oh, okay, so that's what it is. Or he might be, I don't know what he's doing right now, too. So he could be running because when you get on well, this side over here, he's running like pound to pound blends. These are much more usually your your value blends, or either our better sellers, you know, um, Old Dolce, any of those that you're going to maybe run on this side. As opposed to over here, it's more your smaller, 200 pound, 100 pound, 50 pound. That's what he's doing. The smaller blends on this side. The the more of these leaf particular blends we do on the smaller, we usually do those in 30 pound batch, very small batch production, because of one, it'll leaf handling it. It, it's tricky. I mean, it's just not the way we're set up for it. It's not if you go run this leak or this process, it would be hung up and everything. So, yeah, yeah. Again, that's one of the small batch processes for the large batch. Look at that. See that? 
Ya, no, 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 So in 30 some years, would you say you applied at least a million labels? <laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Awesome. Packing. Yeah. Cigar. This is the cigar. You don't look at either? Not even one? <laughs> <laughs> one drop. Nothing. Nothing. Nada. Nothing. 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 Años. Wow. So, esto ya son órdenes que están listas para ir para, para las personas. Oh, sí. Mira, perfecto. Bueno, pues gracias para enseñarnos esto. Está bien lindo. Wow. Maduro. Oh. Maduro. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Aquel es más clarito. Habano, oh, ok. Oh, ok. Yo pensaba que ellos solamente hacían cabrón. ¿Puedo ver estos Saratogas? That's what they call with the tobacco store. You see the knobs on the end of them? Uh -huh. So those knobs, or these hoists lift them up and basically flips the Saratoga and dumps them into these, these hoppers on top. Uh -huh. So that kind of tracks it down. There's a track to see up top. And that kind of follows down depending upon which, which line we're going to run. Now when you get into this first line right here, this is our 8 ounce and 12 ounce like value blend product. Uh -huh. Our super value, the Admiral's Choice that you see run, uh, various private labels that we do for different people. They're all run on this line right here. That line is getting less and less business because the, the, the market is changing away from the value product and more to the specialty product. Kind of like the craft beer, the wine yeah. industry, or anything like that. We're very similar in that sense of where it's heading. Uh, and I think I don't expect that to be changed just based on like what you were saying earlier. That value smoker and that, it's just not the same. It's just a different dynamic now. But, uh, and as you go down until you get to the second line, that's more of it. We can walk over here. You yeah, have like your Sorry. five or four cans. This line runs predominantly five or four cans, about five to cans. Mix of 79 cans that we do. Any cans are going through this particular one. Not metal tins, just cans. You know, all the Mississippi River, all the Puff Foot, and all the Seattle Pipe Foot, those are the Mississippi River, which you see right here. Yeah. 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 As, you, uh, as you get into the next line, as we go down, the next line is still the whole line. Okay. Okay. Where 
actually put the bottom on. Okay. With the pan cup at the top. With the leaves come out of it. Shoot the actual fiberboard pan. Kind of bucket around it. You know, no doubt. Very similar to like a beer pan. Or, you know. So this particular line that you see here, obviously you see what's coming out of the end here. This is where we do all of our metal tins. All of that is ran on this line. So this will be a brand new one coming soon. Lord Morgan from the premier show. Let it Again, if it's, if it's flake it. product, they load it by hand. This is going to be a press flake. This is a crumble cake. the label so you cannot brand anything anymore this everything will be in this so three nuns will be like this seven seas royal mixture anything will be in a green tin with the green label and that's the plain packaging if you ever hear that from the government that's that's what this is this is what you see as plain packaging what's the so reason like, behind like all Marlboro, that they just don't want the power of the brand to attract people oh okay. so it's that so everything becomes neutral in a weird way that gives it kind of cuts the big guy's owl. Yeah. You know, so it, I mean, again, I'm not trying to, the glass half full, that's the glass half full, but that's about the only glass half full you could see in it because there was a lot of glass half empty on the floor to play back. None of us were Well, there's that. Exactly. Anything. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. 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 So it's a warning label that it's like, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Yeah, the big one. <laughs> the roll cakes. Probably still like I was telling you, you got some with the help on still, and then you got some where we've already switched them over, so don't be shocked when you see all these efforts in Yeah. Them. I hate those war just health warning things. <laughs> That's all like a, our pipe, rigging pipes over there. Awesome. Uh, that wall, all the different color coats that you see. That's just our way of how to, to be able to pull accurately. Oh, you know, that's okay. why you see all the rainbow colors over there. Oh, okay. So it tells them to go to a yellow container or a blue container. Or, you know. There's a white color. Can we look at that? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. I was heard the that's the cleaners, the pipe cleaners, and look, look the little stands, the corks and the stands, and the tools. Look the little pipe tools on the bottom. <laughs> All the pipe stops, and look, there's the pipes. A teeny tiny, no. brand new, it's pretty. That is pretty. Oh, it is a black one. Wow. Wow, look at this. A whole thing of pipes. So colorful. Yeah. It's nice. Let me take a picture. What the heck? Oh, oh that's beautiful. That's a uh, no, that's <laughs> I, would, I would want that. I think they're all beautiful. <laughs>
I'm taking too long, I think. In this, in this cage that we have right here, this is when it actually, we, there was a lot of liquors that we had had with old granddad and we had partnerships with them. And that's where it was stored because they were actually, because you worry about people taking it. Now they're stored in the office. You know, but years ago, that's why this cage was made. It is you know, safe over there, right? Because there was a lot, because Dutch Masters was actually old granddad back then and it was using old granddad, you know, whiskey. So there was tons of that that we would have. And obviously people would want to sample that. Yeah, you know, so that's why this cage was here, just so you know. Just give me a background. These racks right here will eventually be filled with rat tray pipes. We've got a shipment coming in very soon. We'll have a large variety kind of what you see over there. Yeah. You know, so that's what these racks are coming while they're empty now, but it's coming within probably a month or so. Uh, they will be distributing all that as well. Yeah. Rat tray pipes are really cool. I like them. I have the little one for that thing. That's the rat tray pipe. They have that simple. The fridge. Lunch. Nice and cold. Somebody has nachos. Yeah, it's kind of neat. This is the lobby now. <laughs> Yeah, this is the cheese. Different bulks, the packaging materials. Oh, cool. And this color is really, really cool. There's a couple of pictures here, but you see the old packet full when it was all mixture 79 being on. So it's kind of neat to see what it's transformed to be. You know? mm -hmm. There's guys that are in the back, I think they're actually rolling some cigarettes back there that you see. And we're something from these two old pictures right there that you'll see on this cover. You know? Just all old RYO where they were running them back then, and let's we'll see the suck that hold my home seat. And the... Oh, Brigham. I didn't know Brigham was part of these guys. Yeah, Brigham was part of these guys. I thought they were Canadian, or I don't think that's somebody else. No, no, you're right. You're right. We distribute them, but they just distribute So what, are all the jars for samples? <laughs> I mean, if, if you want to grab a sample, you're more than welcome. I just don't know. They've been sitting there a while, so I can't guarantee what they are, how they are. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. It almost to a point where we thought when we first got it, that like, I don't know if a motor was actually attached to it at the beginning, or was it a donkey? Or like, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. 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 Clip note version of the factory. Time to be a 